So hey you guys, I'm so happy to be popping on today. We are going to have some makeup fun of course. Um, we are going to play with um, Too Faced Pretty Rich palette. This is the Diamond Light eyeshadow palette. The packaging is cute. This is the box and it comes with 16 ultra luxe shades of vivid glitters creamy mass opulent shimmers and precious pearls so the reason why i really wanted to play with this was because of the let me show you guys the inside really quickly the palette and pull it back so you guys can really see the shades so yeah that looks a whole lot better so yeah this is the palette and yeah the reason why i wanted to kind of play with this palette was because of those press the four diamond shape press gel glitter shadows that are specially created to minimize glitter fallout so your eyes stay dazzling with breath breathtaking intensity um it's the middle of the day but you guys know I don't care about that kind of stuff. We are definitely going to dip into a couple of these, hopefully, and just see um, what we can come up with. Um, I'm just going to, we're just going to have some fun, okay? So, I hope everybody's doing extremely well. It says, from Too Faced, money can't buy happiness, but it can buy you makeup. <laughs> this is true. And at the end of the day, it's really all about what makes you happy and how do you get to be happy. You decide. Those That's a choice. And for right now, I'm just deciding to just be happy. Let's just, you know, in spite of whatever it may be, let's just all make a conscious effort, you know, um, to try to really back in. I just see so, a lot of people kind of suffering and you know i i mean myself included i'm not excluded but um just things get tough and we don't know how to come back around but i'm just praying and thankful to god that um he has not left me he has not left you either we all can come back around if we just stay focused on what um, his word says to us and i just wish you all so much joy peace and happiness okay so when we come back we're gonna get started i got started a little early because i want to make sure that this primer i put down the fancy primer and i didn't want to have an issue uh with i didn't i wasn't sure so i did set the fancy primer down with a little bit of derma blend translucent powder and then um you guys know the derma blend trend the white one and just show it to you the derma blend so i just use that set it down um after i put the uh, primer down so yeah so the first shade that i actually went in with was i'm just gonna turn the box over um so that i can know the name was called it's cashmere it's cashmere that's the first shade that i went in with it's pretty so i think we might keep this kind of Let's just see. I'm not really sure. I was going to say kind of light. But let's see how... Hold on one second. So I am taking a little bit of cold under pressure. And I am just literally leaving it to this outer V. So just wanted to see. So the glitter does not really show up in this capacity. Because I'm, I'm picking it up on a kind of fluffier eyeshadow brush. Just wanted to see what it would do. So you can use it as a... Um, crease i mean a deepening shade if you want to so i just want to see what it would do and i'm just going to take that same brush that we've been using with the uh, oh that's rich on it and blending it out okay okay that's cute definitely going in with highly selective i did cut my crease y'all because i want to get a lot of um payoff from this particular palette be and I want to be able to, for it to be seen because this is definitely for glam <laughs> for glam and actually what I'm going to do is I am going to cover my whole lid with this shade and that's really cute I'm not putting, um, didn't wet my brush or anything like that. So then I'm going to pick up, um, it is a quite bit of fallout in the pan itself. So just if you, that bothers you, just so you know, we'll kick back too. Okay. Mm-hmm. 
just kind of grazing over the top of that. Now, if you want more punch out here, you go in with a denser brush, but I'm okay with this right now because I am going to use one of these glitters in just a minute. <laughs> so I am going to go in with Diamond Glitterati, but it does say on the back of the box, TF Tip. Prime lids with Too Faced Glitter Glue for best results. Use your finger when applying the pressed gel glitter formula. So I do have the Too Faced Glitter Glue. and Let me find it. And we're going to try and um, lay that down first and see what, what special goodness we can come up with. Found it. So um, I'm basically going to, let's see. Let's see where I want to place the glitter. Hold on. I'm just going to mix it on the back of my hand. And let's just go right here in the little center part. Oops, I didn't mean to go that high up. And we're gonna pick up Glitterati on our finger like they suggested. And, ooh, sweet Lord, baby. Yes. Mm hmm. That is pretty. And there is no fallout on my face from the glitter. This is definitely party worthy. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so we pick up a highly selective and just kind of blend it with that back end. Mm-hmm. So actually what I want to do is take a um, princess cut and just kind of see what that looks like toward the front just to try to give us a little bit of dimension. And we may have to Spray our brush to get that color play off a little bit better. Yeah, it's lightening it up just a little bit. I didn't want it to. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> and you can wet your brush and get a better payoff. I just wanted to see how it would blend into the glitter. And I. Uh, yeah. Come on. So, hey, you guys. Through. This is the final look. And, yes, I got to rush off. But really quickly, I really like these um, pressed glitters in here. So, that was um, the formula that I was actually more in most interested in. It's a gel-like uh, pressed glitter formula. And I really do like it. I also, you know, didn't have an issue with any of the mattes. There's not a lot of them in here. So, it's like one, two, three, four mattes. And then this inner corner is courtesy of that shade Clutch Your Pearls. It is like an iridescent type pink, which I really, really do like. Um, I think I picked up the wrong brush, but yeah, so you see how that's making my inner corner really, really pop and be you know, yes, I'm here for that. So I did rim a little bit of it underneath here as well. And yeah, that's pretty much it. On the lips is um, <clears throat> Anastasia's Pure Hollywood mixed in with that shade from Becca, which I put on the highlighter from them as well. So both of the shades are called Champagne Dream Flashes Bellini. So I don't think they make these anymore. You guys remember when they came out with, um, and it, because this had a little bit of a pink hue to it, that's really why I wanted to um, use this. So if you see this, look at that, that's beautiful. Somewhere, put it, because it's like an iridescent type pink and it's so pretty. Like, I could just keep loading up all day on this color. <laughs> anyway, um, yes, I really have enjoyed this makeup look today. Let me know what you think. Tomorrow, we will do another palette review, which will be um, the new Tardius Remix Pro. We'll, we'll do a review of that tomorrow. I've had it. I just hadn't had a chance to really get on film. You guys know the holidays get kind of crazy. But I want to thank you all so much for hanging in there with me. And to all my new subscribers... I thank you all so much for joining this crazy family with the crazy background, with the whatever else, you know, crazy, all the craziness. But I hope you guys enjoyed the eye look. Let me know your thoughts. I would be so happy to do another look, which I will be doing because this shade down here called Diamond Life 
is giving me life right now. And so is Diamonds and Breakfast. I think I'm going to save Diamonds and Breakfast for um, maybe New Year, my New Year's Eve. Look, I've been kind of like playing around with what I want to do. So well, in my head, not physically, because you guys know I don't pre um, think of anything. I don't have that kind of time. But anyway, I appreciate everything. I appreciate everybody. Foundation today is just the Maybelline Fit Me. Uh, Man in Portland. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I did want to say because I did take it back, y'all. And I really enjoyed the Naked Skin Urban Decay Concealer underneath the eye today. I don't know. Just some revisiting some products and stuff. And maybe because once you start, you know, doing your makeup and playing a little bit more, you, you see that, you know, maybe you have been doing things wrong or just, you know, not really to enhance the way you wanted to. So go back and pull out some of your old stuff that you kind of like but fell off. But now you need to revisit it again. Okay, until the next time I see you all on the next turn. Thanks, YouTube. Bye-bye.